So here's the essence of you, how to use OKRs in strategic planning, right? Strategic planning process is pretty straightforward, right? You've got some strategy setting process, whether it's blue ocean or how we win. And from there, we get out our strategic intent. And the strategic intent, once we get that, we need to validate it. In other words, if we achieve these elements of the strategic intent, would it help us achieve our overall strategy? If yes, and we've got the capacity and resources, then we take the next step. We're going to break that bigger picture intent into some specific goals. Again, verify if we do these goals, do we get the intent? If that's yes, then the next step is the top level key results, like corporate level. Verify if we achieve these key results, does that mean we achieve these goals? If yes, then we cascade down to departments, products, regions, whatever. Again, verify, then figure out what are the key results of that next level down, verify. In other words, we've got a, a process and it may go several levels deep. Eventually, you got to go launch it. And when you launch it, we go off and do the work. And guess what? We then verify. So the issue is we've got these verification steps all the way through. Wouldn't it be brilliant if we had one standard approach for doing this verification, which we do, of course, that's all about OKRs. So if you use OKRs that we build out, in other words, the strategic intent is des described as objectives at each level, we have objectives and key results and so on. What it means is whenever I validate it, I've got the same practice. It doesn't matter whether I'm validating the top level or the bottom level, I know how to do it. I don't have to train myself differently on each level. The second benefit is it's not a house of cards. If you fail any verification phase, you just go back up to the previous set where you succeeded and then recast the next step. So it allows that more structured and more agile approach to management, which means overall you can do this refresh at any point in time, whether it's once a quarter as they would propose with OKRs or whenever a trigger event happens like COVID or a product merger or launch. So that's where OKRs fit in. That verification process makes it Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.